Day one here in Yokohama at the annual meeting of the Asian Development Bank. The opening session has just terminated and in focus on one of the main issues that the Asian countries are facing and will be facing in the next future, its aging population. Instead of uh, spending lots of money without the policy framework, we need to be very wise and effective and efficient so that they do not repeat the failures of Japan's history, as well as they could make full use of uh, Japanese success stories. So my first priority on investment on aging is wisdom sharing, knowledge sharing for policy framework. Then the second one is human resource development. We need quality service on the ground so that people can rely on it. For that purpose, the quality of human beings, human service experts, be very much important. The last one, the money can. Then the money can. Then the money could be very much efficiently and effectively used. Now we are collaborating with Thai and Vietnam, Sri Lanka are very much interested in and almost all the Asian countries are showing their interest to improve their policy framework as well as uh, how to say their countermeasure on the ground for the aging society. Now, the private sector cannot be ignored in the Asian countries because there is a very vibrant private sector and people do go to the private sector. It's all kinds of people who go. And I've seen that even the poor go to the private sector mainly for their outdoor needs and the rich, of course, go to the private sector. And therefore, the private sector needs to become more conscious of what it needs to do for those who are in need. I do also feel that private-public partnerships is a good way forward. And there are several examples around the world. In India itself, even if we look at the poor segment of society, we have the RSBY, which is the Rashtra Seva Bhima Yojana, which is an insurance scheme for the poor, whereby by just paying half a dollar, they can go to the private sector for their needs to a maximum of a lakh of rupees. So there are good examples, there are best practices which certainly need to be followed around the world. Our priority would be mm, uh, construct, build uh, uh, international uh, cross-border uh, consultation and network among the uh, countries, uh, Asian countries, uh, not limited to uh, government or official, uh, but uh, including uh, the uh, including the private sectors, private private people.